nda baga na okunu si zeme nki baza. Oga abuzi eh, wanae na nana na nabedi, onwe hiki keto oke na benya, onwe hiki ingo, ofu anu unu oge ibi na benya. Abo wani iji ego bisi oku, no ke ingo ziri, ke liku oma azi asi, wedo se ego gi, wedo za akono obage. Nene nana kwe sere, adi ndo, ka anon ndo, kunye no mbolo ifu nanya ne iti tu oma azi unu. Ade kuku oma azi, no konji tolo yoto, hapu nana na boho oma azi, manu oma azi ka hapu, unyo obu na bune ebe nye nane yao. Gano ti kunu nyife me na abagana. Hmm? Asolo me kwa wawea. Makana ya ba ayko to loge. Mkwa wawea. Weti kwa nyabu ifu nyo loge taka. Ige enti. Inyife me na. Una kwa me ebu nobi unu. Ona wada adra umi ngu ufu anu unu. Na bedi niya. E makana onu rodi. Na aga ingu zifu. Oge ketezi oke. Gano nti nene nifu nyo nyabiko. Na nende ma sister man. Kudi hako gana. Yonga was I was with me before. No no. Dere kwa mkesi. With me again. I stayed in Abuja, I'm a single lady. My mother died there three years ago, after the death of my mom. My own senior sister, which was not talking to my mom three months before she died, and my own senior brother that is in London, two of them. When my mother was sick in the hospital, she was calling my brother, she refused, because I came back from Abuja to stay with her in the hospital until she died. So my, 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 my senior brother refused to answer my mother's call. While in the hospital, because we needed help for money. She refused, he refused to pick. My mother called the wife. The wife refused to pick. She left her. Left with me and my junior sister, we borrowed money. Saw the hospital bill and everything. She was discharged the day after she died. Before then, we don't have issues. None of us, we are not quarreling. So it's not as if I was having issues with any of them. So she now entered. After the death of my mom, my senior sister said, over her dead body, she sit with us to discuss anything. My brother did not even call to find out what killed my mother or how she died. So, that one I The problem started from there. The process of burying my mom during the funeral ceremony, it's unfortunate that most of our people that help us to do the burial are dead, but they are some that are still alive. So it was a big case in our family. And I, in the third, the first to senior me. So, the other ones were with me. I told them, don't worry, that we bury our mom. So our uncles told me, my senior brother, if you are sending money for the burial of your mom, you should not pay it into my senior sister's account. You should pay it to any other person so that you can handle it very well. Which my brother refused and paid to that, my senior sister. So she, we now call her, let's sit down and plan, plan on how we will do it. But she said, over her dead word, I have voice record in my phone, everything that happened, everything I'm saying. And that your sister, senior sister is who? She's, she's, she's in Enugu. What does she do here? She's working? She's work, she works in Enugu campus. Okay. But not as a lecturer, as a lay worker. So she refused that we not sit together to plan the burial. It was war. After the whole incident, we managed to bury her. To do the funeral ceremony. We buried her. I buried because my mom told me that if she died, we should bury her in the Which I did. So the funeral ceremony was done January. She died in June. We were not buried. We were doing that for me. So we buried her. We did the funeral ceremony in January. After the funeral ceremony, the trouble continued with my sister and the brother. So what did they do to you? What they, what they did is that they first said they would contest my mother's will. Okay, she wrote her will. She wrote her will. They said they would contest it, which they started contesting at Nene High Court. Because the will was read at private high court worker. So we came, we all went to Nene High Court. They did this continuous, let the will stand. We all came home, we are sitting together, we eat together, I laugh together, I left. So what happened? Only for me to come back January this year. Because I'll be the first person to take my rent. And I'll be collecting rent from that man. The person staying in my own apartment, my own flat. They told that one that he should not pay me. That I'm single. Why should I be collecting money? That he should not pay me, that they will be taking it. I didn't know. That the first thing they are renovating the house, but it's just painting, they painted the outside of the commercial house. I was not aware. Nobody told me. Not only that, my senior sister went back after I went back to Abidjan, called the younger ones, and told them that my brother said if they want him to help them, they should stop communicating with me, telling me whatever is happening in the house, that he will help them, but without my consent, that I should, he doesn't want me in that compound at all. At all. So, what do you want us to do? What I want to do is that I came back the very house because in that inside, inside of our compound there are two buildings. The old building where we are all raised up. 
and the new building, the solid building my father was building, roofed it before he died. That was called the Obu of the house, which is my senior brother's home. We are all staying in that house. He now said we should vacate it as his own, that we are tenants. He wrote a letter from court that we should vacate that we are tenants in his house. We still moved move back to the old house where all of us were raised. That was when we were staying. That was when we when I came back to collect my rent, I was not quarreling with anybody. And nobody told me that I did anything. They said I should not collect my rent. I came back last month for traditional marriage from Abuja. Getting to my father's compound, the house, we are putting up our own marriage. My brother was doing some renovation on the main, the, the building. No, you can't live outside. <laughs> was doing renovation in that house. They demolished. It's okay, easy, easy, easy. It's okay. Mm. It's okay. 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 So, so they said I'm not a half. That's how far I'm going. That is my crime is that I'm single. I should go. I should go. To, go to where? You should go to where? I'm married. Did they keep your husband? I'm married before the first one died. The second one, my own senior sister. Before my mother died, went through the back. I went to his house, I was sleeping with him. I was in my bed, I was in Lagos. The man, the wife that before came to me. I don't know if somebody introduced me. So he went there, the daughter of that man called me that I know that my senior sister is sleeping with, with the father in the same room. I told my mom, my mom was so pissed off because she was suffering from her tritis. I said, no. My mom and poor my sister, what I did, she came and said, you are committing an abomination. That was why my sister stopped talking to my mom till she died. Because of that, the marriage ended. My mother called the man. The money was refunded. That was 2015. So that is, they said that I should go back. I should, I don't have any right to stay in my father's compound. Then like my sister married, with the help of the other younger ones that was with me before, none of them come get with me again. I went back to Abuja, only for me to come back again. There's a traditional marriage that came back. I now entered their compound and found out that the house has been demolished without my consent. I saw some of my things outside when was has destroyed them. I don't know. We had the facts, others, and again, nobody told me anything. I don't know what whatever that's happening in, in that house. My sister told me that she would make sure she frustrates me out of that house that I will never get into that company again. Then the you know what? <laughs> got in that house. They rented it out. Okay. So do you know what? what? Do you know what? Uh, but there's something I want to assure you. Probably money was speaking yes, before yes. in another state. But under Professor Tupu Masarudu's administration, justice speaks, not money. And by the time, if really they did all these things, uh -huh. you, don't say you will know that. <laughs> Money cannot speak any longer. We'll get justice. That's what we are doing here. So come down.